A league of their own, the series premiering on Amazon Prime Video just a few days ago. Maybell Blair joining me now, the legendary softball player, All-American Girls Professional Baseball League athlete. So happy to be joined by you today, Maybell. And I know that you were instrumental in consulting the producers of the series because you wanted to make sure they got it right. What did you mean by that? Well, uh... <laughs> Well, Penny Marshall, and she made the most wonderful movie in the world, as you know, and I don't think there'll ever be a baseball movie that'll ever top it. But there was a couple of things that she had to leave out uh, due to the fact the um, uh, people weren't ready for it, and, and neither was I, come to think of it. Um, <laughs> but now today is a different era as I'm learning as I'm getting older, now that I'm 95. There's things that needed to be told that was really true in the movie, but we just couldn't do it in that era. And Maybelle, I think uh, we all know what you're talking about because you publicly came out as gay at the uh, at the premiere of the show earlier this year at 95 years young, and you wanted to make sure that they addressed the queer stories, the racial stories that they didn't address in the film back when it was first out. Why did that? Why was that so important for you? And congratulations, by the way, for being able to live that truth. Well, the truth is, is that. I wanted everybody to realize that people uh, that are like me, which you kids call now queer, I call gay, um, that realize that we have a heart and we're a soul and we're a being and we love to live our lives and let us live our lives. Let Everybody should be able to live their own life to be happy. Uh, and I thought, Mabel, Will and uh, Graham and um, Abby, Jacobson gave me this opportunity and I really didn't realize what I was going to do. Um, as we were on the stage there in Tribeca, it dawned on me, I'm at Maybell, this should be told. Do something. You've been in the closet for 95 years hiding. So I thought the door's a little ajar now. So I stole them. I told him I was gay. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I felt the blood rush all the way clear to my toes. But I, you know what? I'm so happy because I've already heard from a lot of mothers telling me, thanking me because they, knew, they know their girls are gay and to have a little outlet for them. Well, I think that's a wonderful message that you were finally able to tell. And thank you for it. You've been so in instrumental, Mabel, in making sure that women's softball and, and women in the sport of baseball continue to get recognized. You've time and time again attended MLB development programs like the Trailblazer series, the Breakthrough series. What do those things mean to you? Oh, it means so much. And I'm so proud of uh, Major League Baseball for supporting us and giving you know, I don't care if they're uh, baseball players or softball players, but be able to follow your dream. Let them dream. If they want to play softball, that's wonderful, because I used to be a professional uh, softball player and a baseball player. But let the girls that want to play baseball, which are thousands of them, would wants to play baseball. So give them a chance. And Major League Baseball has opened up that opportunity plus the movie League of Their Own. Now with Amazon um, Prime Time, uh, it, it's really coming around. And I'm trying to build a home in uh, Rockford, Illinois, for the girls to have a home of our own where we can say, this is our own home, just like the boys did in the Williamsport. That's my big dream before I get on the other side of the dirt. And I know that you're really doing everything you can to make that happen. I know that you're doing a lot of fundraising efforts for that. How can we help? Have, well, just open up your pocketbook there in Major League Baseball <laughs> and, and give us money. Uh, I understand we're <laughs> going to get a big donation, but I don't know when this will ever happen. But uh, we need more money. Uh, we're getting close. Major League Baseball helps us. We're going to get that dirt in the cert dirt pretty darn quick, and I don't want that shovel for me. I want it for the building. <laughs>
<laughs> That's great. What a fun personality. I want to ask you what it means to you, Mabel, when you see young girls uh, playing softball for the first time or continuing their career. I know that you have inspired and that movie has inspired generations and scores of young girls and women being involved in the sport of baseball. I want to tell you a little story. In 2019, every single person on the Los Angeles Dodgers charter had to dress up. It wasn't just the rookies. And I chose to dress up as a character from a league of their own. Because if oh. it wasn't for that movie, I'm not certain how many of us would be involved in baseball. And it was such an inspiration. When you see a lot of young women doing this, how does that resonate with you? Oh my gosh, my heart almost jumps out of my skin. I am so thrilled because I want the girls to have a league of their own again. And I want them to have a home, just like the boys do in Williamsport. We need it for our girls in baseball. They have one in softball, you know, in Oklahoma City, but not for girls in baseball. And you can't imagine how those little things will come up to you, tears in their eyes and grabs you around the leg and tell you, Oh, thank you for help open me so I can play baseball. That's what I want to play is I want to play baseball. So why can't they have the opportunity? Let's let's do it. We can do it at Major League Baseball pools with us and what have you. Thank you guys so much. And if you can help support us, we'll be so thrilled at International Women's Baseball Center. I've got Olivia and I'll even come and dance in your next wedding event for my grave. <laughs> Of course, a great athlete in your own right. 19 of 20 women, Mabel, of the U.S. National Women's Baseball Team have been involved in Major League Baseball programs. So to your point, it's important for Major League Baseball to recognize the importance of women's baseball as well. Can you expand a little bit more on that? Oh, you better believe it. I'm telling you, I about died and came back to heaven when Kim Kimmy got to be the first woman general manager. I just love that woman. And uh, I met her a few years back in Los Angeles at the Los Angeles Daughters when she was general manager. And I told her, Kim, you gotta do it and you're gonna do it. And by George, she did. And she called me after she got it and told me, she says, Maybell, I did it. I'm a, I'm a general manager for the Marlin Marlins. And I was so thrilled. You have no idea. I got 10 years younger right there at that moment. And now we got to open up the next door. But what I don't want, what I don't want is Major League Baseball trying to appease us women by giving us token jobs. Don't give us token jobs. We want to earn them. If we're as good as a man or better, give us our chance. But don't just give us a token. Don't give us a token. Amen, Make it Maybell hard. Blair. Amen. That's great. Couldn't have said it better myself. And Kim Ng certainly well-deserved, well-earned of that honor. A long time coming for her. Finally, for me, you're getting ready to throw out the first pitch at Dodger Stadium on August 21st. I know it's not your first time doing a ceremonial first pitch, but what is your anticipation like for that? Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, I'll be thrilled to death because my Dodgers naturally is going to win the World Series. And, uh, <laughs> and I can say I threw out the World Series ball even when I'm talking to the girls up in heaven when I get there and say, hey, my Dodgers did it, right? And also, you know who I like is the Boston Red Sox. And why? Because they have fantasy camp down there every year for women. And I've never seen, you know, women, some of them can't play a lick, but you know, hey, that's not the idea. It's the love of women's <laughs> baseball that I like. And when they walk around in spring training, think they're in spring training, I just sit there and watch them. The tears <laughs> roll down their face with their uniform, you know, hanging up in the locker room. You would get the, hey, you should come down this uh, next uh, January for our spring training. You would love it. I would absolutely be honored to be there. Who knows? Maybe if the Boston Red Sox can figure it out, maybe there's a repeat of the 2018 World Series between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. Maybelle Blair, you are a pleasure. You are a treasure. I am grateful to have the opportunity to talk with you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. And so send in money.